BI without the BS is a bit of a catchphrase that we've come up with. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is just simplify business intelligence. A common thread that we get from our customers is how do I get to make a tangible business decision from the raw data we have quickly? And actually, with some of these BI visualization tools that are available in the market, you can do that quickly. And we're going to demonstrate that this evening. We've got three of the top tools out there in the marketplace right now. We've got three of the most experienced competitors out there that want to demonstrate what these tools can do. Tonight, they will be going from zero to insight in 20 minutes. They are only allowed to use their tool. They're allowed to blend in any other data set to the, the data set we've given them. The judges are part of our community. They're all business leaders in their own right. They're all from data and digital backgrounds. What they're scoring on is data prep, biz quality, storyline, so what? Nice charts are one thing, but I'm looking for ease of use so I can get results myself. 20 minutes to do a bar chart sounds easy to me. I don't care about the data. It's all about the customer outcomes for me. Is this going to be an insight night with three fantastic winners, or is it going to be three miserable losers? I'm hoping we're going to get a really good atmosphere, going to get a good crowd in here. We're going to have a bit of fun with it and hopefully people will walk away thinking I've learned something new today. We've collated data from a website called eSports Earnings. There has been almost 3,000 tournaments to date and the prize winnings has been over $132 million. It's labelled as the fastest growing sport you've never heard of. We've taken extracts from this website for over 10 years of data for the competitors to visualise for you this evening. The Gartner BI quadrant has Tableau, Microsoft, Click up in the leaders quadrant. So, which is best, Power BI, Click or Tableau? So let's start the competition. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. go! Come on! Chris is currently in Tableau prep. So he's doing his preparation of data, he's got calculations going on in the background. Nick is using ClickSense and as you can see here, as he's put the tables into ClickSense, it's represented by bubbles. Jen has loaded her tables and she's about to start creating a visualisation. Ten minute mark now. We've got Chris there with Tableau doing his tooltips. Right, we've got three and a half minutes to go. Nick building out his dashboard and looks like a splash page. Two minutes, 10 seconds. Jen continuing to build out her dashboard. One minute, 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Let go of right, Nice, it. awesome, great work, Woo! awesome. We're going to give a chance to the competitors now to talk through their visualisation and we're going to start with Chris. When I first hit this data set, what I started doing was asking questions of the data. Who's competing? How much are they earning? And then I sorted that to find out who was playing. I found this guy, Kuroki. And we can see highlighted the tournaments that he's won and there's a few highlighters here. My dashboard hopefully answers some of those questions and as we see in the top 10 tournaments that he's won in terms of prize money. I approached this quite differently. What I did look at was what's the difference between male and female players. If men and women are generally playing games kind of equally, almost heading towards 50-50, why does it actually occur that men are earning so much more than women when it comes to competitions? I tried to kind of get some insights, but also show you how uh, the product works. I've kind of started with the headlines here at the top, so all of the key stats. So for me, it's all about the headline numbers. Then it's money. Money by region, money by game, money by player, money by team. I don't know esports, so for me, it's about putting that menu down there and allowing people to navigate. Go to the panelists now for their views, and we'll go one by one. So we'll start with Barry, please. The tool is one thing, mm -hmm. but the interpretation of the person driving the tool is completely different. Yep. That's why it's a people sport. So I think it is a bit of an art, this stuff. It just absolutely highlights the fact that it's really important for these guys and in their teams to be so connected to the business community. It's been interesting listening to all three. The so what, I think, is ultimately what we're all after. Three great artists <laughs> uh, with different mentalities and different 
outcomes. These guys all made it look easy. We're going to show the audience vote first, and then that's going to be blended with the panel vote, and then we're going to have a win overall winner. So the audience vote winner is... Ooh. Oh! Nick, <laughs> well done. <laughs> and now we're going to blend that score from the panel and the audience vote together, and we'll have an overall winner. You, the audience, voted exactly the same way as the panel. You understand that Click was the winner tonight. So well done, Nick. Woo! Okay, mate. Thank you very much. Enjoy that, yeah, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Nick was definitely the best communicator, followed by Chris and then Jen. However, I thought Jen gave me the best, so what? I think it was good to show people different tools and also different approaches for using those tools to, to get insights. One of the people in the audience basically said, as long as you've got one of them, you're fine, because they're all very good. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. Bringing the data scientists together with the sort of stakeholder community is really key. Um, and actually that's where you get the real magic. As Jen said, I thought the point about it's all about the insights and I passionately feel that it's not about the data. I saw three products that I'd never seen before. Even though Royal Mail uses one of them, I'm going to go and speak to my BI team tomorrow and say, why can't we get what I saw out of Click? The power of the community is demonstrated this evening. Bringing people together, great interaction with the audience, lots of great questions, working through problems. Everybody's walked away with something they've learned.